Okay. Now let us see some simple C code to convert an infix expression. So this is an expression in infix to a postfix expression, right? So to a postfix expression. So I'll explain you logically what is happening so that it's easy for you to understand, even if you don't know C programming language. If you know C programming language, this should be straightforward to understand, right? So for to do all of this, we will be using a stack as we go ahead, right? So if you notice the infix expression that is given to us is not is not fully parenthesized, is not fully parenthesized, right? Is not fully parenthesized, which because look at this here, actually two into three, two multiplied by three has a higher precedence. So we should actually place parenthesis here, right? So this is not fully parenthesized, it's partially parenthesized. But imagine I know the rules of bot mass and imagine I know the precedence order. Let's assume I know the order of precedence through bot mass rule, okay? Which means now given this expression, I'll convert infix to postfix using the order of precedence. Without this, I can't do it. And this is not a fully parenthesized expression. Right. So whatever we are learning here will work if the if the whole expression is parenthesized or not parenthesized or partially parenthesized or fully parenthesized. Any of these cases, it will work because we know the rules of precedence. Right. So let's go through this simple code quickly and understand what's happening. So here I'm declaring a stack. I'm implementing a stack here using an array and I have the top pointer because there are no elements at the very beginning. The top is pointing to minus one because in C array start with index zero. Here I've implemented simple push and simple pop in C, literally a couple of lines of code. That's all there is. There is this interesting function here called priority, very interesting function. This basically assigns a number for each, uh, for each symbol, right? So for example, if I see a symbol of open braces, it says its priority is zero. If I see plus or minus, its priority is one. If I see symbols like star or division, right? Its priority is two. We'll see how this priority is useful. Actually, if you think about it, this priority is already encoding some of the rules of bot mass. Look at this. The very fact that because in bot mass, your addition and subtraction have one precedence, your uh, star or multiplication and division have a different, uh, have a different precedence. Your braces have a different precedence. It is encoding that information partly. We'll see why it has given zero precedence a value of priority of zero to the open braces. What about closed braces? It's not there. That's okay. We'll see how the code actually works out, right? So the priority is capturing the concept of precedence numerically. Okay. Okay. Now let's go down. Okay. Okay. Let's actually write the expression here so that we have it always handy. So the expression is two plus three plus, sorry, two plus, I'm sorry. I will not write this braces here 2 plus sorry 2 into okay the expression that i wrote earlier right it is 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 5 minus 6 okay let's have this expression here this is an infix expression we all know that right so simple main where all the program starts right so this is this this is all the program okay so here i'm reading my i have my expression which can be maximum length of 20 I have a character pointer. I have a variable that I'm defining here, printf and scanf. Basically, this is reading, right? This is literally reading the expression. This will read the expression into your string called exp, right? It's literally reading it. Now look at this big while loop. Look at this big while loop here, right? This big while loop says, I'll keep reading each of these elements because e is a pointer to this character array enough, right? E is pointing to the first element now. The moment you say E equals to EXP in C, what happens? This is the first E now points to the very first character here. Now it says while E not equal to end. So this basically in C basically means till the time you reach the last character. Till that time, keep doing this while loop, right? So now let's see what happens actually here. If E is alphanumeric, so this function basically says is the current, so first I read one character of other character. What is my first character now? My first character, now E is now, my E is pointing to this open braces, right? So I have declared a stack here. I have a stack here already, right? Let's call, this is my stack that I have. 
the stack is empty right now there is nothing in the stack my e is pointing to my open braces first it checks is this an alpha numeric character is it a numeric character like 2 or a or some variable name or anything like that if if it's alpha numeric it will simply print it this is not alpha numeric right else if it is open braces right if it is yes it is open braces right if it is open braces it says push that into my stack so now i add one element to my stack which is my sorry which is my not closed braces open braces sorry what i have seen here is open braces right so i'll add my open braces i'll add open braces to my stack very simple so i have open braces in my stack now let's go to the next line of code nothing else so if, if else 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 nothing right so e plus plus which means now my e will now point not to this but my e will now start pointing to the next the next character right so the loop goes up is it an alpha numeric yes 2 is an alpha numeric character so it says simply print 2 right again none of these else conditions are satisfied because if is already satisfied i do e plus plus which means my e will now point to this character which is a star right now let's see what happens is it an alpha numeric no it's not an alpha numeric is it an open braces no it's not an open braces what i have right now is a star right else is it a closed braces no it's not a closed braces else it's neither it's neither an alpha numeric it's neither an open braces nor is it a closed braces otherwise what does this, what does this mean it means now it's an operator it is one of these operators plus minus division subtraction now he here it says there is one more while loop here what does it say now it says take the stack top right look at the stack top what is the stack top here which is so what i have i'm i'm still processing my star here remember okay it says compute the priority of your star the what is the priority of our star the priority of our star the priority function right if you look if you look here what was the priority function the priority function for star was returning as 2 right the priority function was returning as 2 so priority of star is 2 right what is the priority of this open braces it is 0 right so priority of stack top what is what is on stack top because top is pointing now here this is my stack top i have open braces what is the priority of open braces what is the priority of uh, open braces it is equal to 0 what is the priority of star it is equal to 2 is this greater than 2 no it's not right it's not so it will not even go into this while loop what is the next line it says push star into the array sorry into your stack right so what will i do now now i'll just simply so all this is over i just put my push my star into my stack of course my stack top would move here stack top will move to point to this this is where my stack top would be now what is the next thing so again the loop continues i have already printed so this is my infix right i have only printed two now i want to print my whole post fix right that's what i want to print i only printed two till now what about three now i have three right is it alphanumeric yes it's alphanumeric so simply print it so i'll print three right next the loop continues then i go to plus right now i go to plus now comes the fun part is it alphanumeric no is it an open braces no is it a closed braces no else now it says what is the priority of the stack top this is the stack top stack top is star right what is the priority of star it is equal to 2 what is the current operation that i am looking at the current operate the operator that i am looking at is plus what is the priority of plus it is equal to 1 right this is important right so 2 is greater than or equal to 1 yes that is true as soon as you do that you says pop it and print it so the moment i pop it what will come star will come so star will come and print star now okay so i printed star so star is now removed from my stack there is nothing there is only open braces in my stack now after this is done so this 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 while loop is over now right that's because now in this while loop what will i do now i'll compare plus and open braces open braces has a priority of 0 plus has a priority of 1 this condition is not met will come out of this inner while loop then what do i have now it says push 
this symbol into it. So I'll push plus here now. Fair enough, simple enough, right? So this part is over, no issues. Now, now next comes four in this loop. It's alphanumeric, so you simply print four. You simply print four. Next, what comes? Next, you get a star. So it, it's not alphanumeric, it's not open braces, it's not closed braces, right? Now we again come here. Now what is it? What is stack top now? Stack top is plus. What is the precedence or what is the priority of plus? Priority of plus is one, right? What is the priority of the current element, which is star? It is two. One is not equal to two. So this while loop would not execute, right? I push star onto the stack. Star goes onto the stack now. Very simple rules, right? So now, now I have my open braces again, right? As soon as I have open braces, it's not alphanumeric. As soon as I have open braces, I should push it, push it in. So I push it in now. Next, I get five, right? Five, five is alphanumeric. So I'll simply print five because of this if condition. Next, I get minus, right? Now, when I'm processing minus, it's not alphanumeric. It's not open braces. It's not closed braces. I come into this loop, right? Let's look at this part now, right? What is at my stack top? Open braces is at my stack top. What is the precedence of open braces? It is zero, okay? What is the precedence of, what is the priority or the precedence of minus? It is one, right? One is not greater than, zero is not greater than equal to one. So I push it again. So it not go even go into this while loop. I'll just push my minus here. My minus, my minus goes in. Right. So then I have six. Six is alphanumeric. So I'll simply print six. Right. Next comes my closed braces. This is the fun part. Right. So we have never seen. We have seen this case. We have seen this case. We have seen this case. We haven't yet handled this case. Right. Because we haven't seen a closed braces till now. Okay. Let's see. So now I get a closed brace. It's not alphanumeric. It's not open brace. It's closed brace. As soon as I have closed brace, Right. What does it say? As soon as I have closed brace, it says run this loop. What does this loop say? You first pop an item. Okay. What is the top? What is the pop? What is the item that I have minus? It says first pop it. Let's pop that. So this is removed from here. So this, this is removed now. Minus no more exists. I've popped it and printed it. Next, this loop, sorry, this loop continues. Now again, I have to pop. When I pop now, what do I get? I get closed braces. And when I pop, if I get closed braces, till the time I don't get closed braces, I keep doing it. The moment I get closed braces, I'll stop this while loop, right? So I got, so next time I pop, I get this closed braces. So I'll pop this, but I won't print it, but I won't print it, right? That's done. Next, next, what do I have now? Next, I have one more closed braces, right? So I've already processed this. The last one that is left is again another closed braces. So again, this loop will continue. If alphanumeric, no. If open braces, no. If closed braces, let's go here. Okay, this is this is the, this is what will this is what will work now. Okay, again we come back into this case, into the closed braces case. Then what do we do? We first pop. Right. What is here for me? Star is here. Right. I pop star. Very good. Next, I keep popping. I keep popping till the time I pop a closed braces. So I pop this. So this goes away. Next, it says, keep popping, keep popping. Now I'll pop plus and print it. I have popped it and printed it, right? So this is also over. What is the last thing that is left? The last thing that is left is my closed braces, right? This is all I'm left with right now. So I'll also pop this. I'll also pop this, but I won't print it, right? I have processed my whole infix string. The moment I have processed my whole infix, infix, sorry, infix string, this whole loop will go away. This whole loop is over. And now it says, is there something still left in the stack? Because if stack top is not equal to minus one, keep popping it. But my stack is anyway empty. So there is nothing to pop here. Right? Now let's look at this expression. Let's, I'll argue that this expression is same as this. What is the initial one that I had? See, this loop is very simple. The logic here is if you have alphanumeric, the logic here is very simple. If you have alphanumeric, you basically print it. If you have open braces, push it to the stack. If you have closed braces, keep popping it. 
keep popping every symbol till the time you have popped the open brace uh, the the till the time you have popped the open braces if you get a closed brace otherwise if you get an operator look at the operator priority of the operator that is on the stack top and that you currently have and run this while loop at the end of it keep push this very simple logic here nothing very fancy now let's take this expression what is the expression that we have there we have 2 star 3 plus 4 multiplied by 5 minus 6 right this is this is the whole expression i have if i properly parenthesize it what is the correct parenthesization of this because multiplication has higher precedence this is the correct this is the correct parenthesization of this right this is the correct parenthesization right now let's look at what we have in the postfix the input that we gave is only partially parenthesized this is a fully parenthesized so this is fully parenthesized infix right this is fully parenthesized infix now let's see i'll argue that this po postfix is same as this in this postfix look at this what does this mean this part corresponds to this part okay this this will be operated first on right next this will correspond to 5 minus 6 right so this is true this is true next once this is operated on you get 4 with this star what does this mean the resultant that you get from this is multiplied by 4 which is exactly this part which is exactly equivalent to this braces right the whole thing the final addition happens on the resultant of this and the resultant of this that's what this final addition will happen on which is true because this whole thing resultant is now added to this whole resultant to get the final result so this is the appropriate postfix for this partial infix with parenthesis and we have successfully converted from infix to postfix using a simple humble stack right it's a very very simple code and to convert from infix to postfix look at this if you have a string of size n if you have a string of n characters or n symbols here right we processed each of these only once remember we processed each of these symbols only once no more than once and the operations of push and pop on stack out are order of one so the overall infix to postfix conversion is also order of n because there are no for loops of whatsoever and even though there are while loops here right we are not processing any of this more than once every one of them is being is being processed only once and the whole stack itself that you have right stack push pop operations are anyway simply speaking uh, order of one operations right and whenever i pop something i anyway print it here right so if i if i have n characters here if i have n symbols here my postfix notation will have less than equal to n obviously because i don't have braces here every other operator is going to be here every other operand like 2 3 4 is going to be here only the braces are stuff that i don't print right so the conversion from infix to postfix is order of n very simple algorithm you just the, the fun and the interesting part here is how smartly a stack has been used and how different cases are handled that is very important look at this look at all the cases if it's alphanumeric what to do if it is open braces what to do if it is closed braces what to do if it is an operator like plus star multiplication subtraction division etc what to do these are the four cases that you have to handle and this is the fifth case which is if everything is done if there are still stuff left in the stack you just print them there are only five cases that you need to handle of course you need to define your priority function which takes care of the board mass priority or the board mass precedence right you need to capture that information here except that it's a very very straightforward process i'll provide a reference link to this code snippet also for you